Good morning, everyone. We are starting our second to last day in Costa Rica, getting some breakfast before we start the day. This is a bakery, so we're gonna get something quick, like a small bread and coffee, because I wanna save my stomach for a lot of other good food later, so let's get a quick light breakfast. Here we are, Panaderia Frances. Ooh, look at all these bread options. So the owner's French. He got um, an apple cinnamon roll, and this is stuff with apple cinnamon too. We are at the Jaguar Rescue Center right now. So what they do here is they act as a temporary or permanent home for animals that are ill, injured, um, orphaned, abandoned, or abused, and they provide around-the-clock care for them. They make sure that they're nursed back to health and they rehabilitate them because a lot of the times um, they're not able to, for example, survive out in the wild. So they basically take in any animals that are in need. Tickets were $22 a person and all of the proceeds go towards um, the rescue center and making sure that everything is run properly and that the animals get the care that they deserve. We came here uh, about 30 minutes before the public tour started and we're just gonna take a one and a half hour tour of the entire rescue center. Right here. Oh, this is the other one too. 
So our tour guide told us about this place. Um, she, Luna, I guess is the founder and owner of this place and she makes all of her clothing here, right here in Puerto Viejo. So I want to get something from this place because everything looks so beautiful. Like the fabrics and the way that the clothes move. Oh my God, like this dress. Even this, actually. This shirt is super cute. All right, guys, so we are gonna finally do some snorkeling. We're gonna go to a couple of beaches. We're gonna go to Playa Chiquita, which we're at right now. We're walking white right to the beach at this moment. And then we're gonna go to Punta Uva. And they're supposed to be really nice, easy to swim, shallow reefs. And the other one, and for this one, there's supposed to be some really cool tide pools that we could soak in and swim in. And it's just supposed to be super beautiful. So, very excited. That smile, Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while, but it's your style. So something must be up keeping you down. You a queen that must be heaven sent. Pray my soul, I must repent for not telling you what I meant and how I felt. Honestly, I'm used to throwing wishes in a well. My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail. Actions speak louder than words, and that's a lesson that I learned all by myself. We are back from the beach now and um, we're gonna get ready for dinner but I wanted to talk about this little boutique that I bought some dresses from called Luna May. I think she's, I think that's her. Um, but she sources all of her clothes from Bali and she prints all of the prints on the clothes and she hand dyes them everything so she does it all herself it's super sustainable and she really loves what she does so she has two locations in Porto Viejo right in town so I bought two things and I might wear one of them tonight but let me show you guys what I got so this is the first dress it has like prints of actual women here there you go prints of like actual women that work at the boutique and some of their family members even, which I think is so cool. And it just has a really cute neckline. It's so soft, the material, and it has a cute back pattern as well, like a little tie. And this is number two. It's this very, very pretty print here. I don't really know what it is, but it's very like bohemian like the colors are beautiful it's like this orange and red and it's also like a short dress super flowy and it has a sash tie back with like a little hole in it and it's so pretty and i really like it i'm probably gonna wear this like when i go to places that um like i like very beachy tropical places is where i would bring this because it's light and also easy to pack i also purchased a couple of these from one of the restaurants that we ate at. Um, it only has cocoa, sugar, coconut, and cinnamon. And it's all natural, of course, from this area. And I also bought a second one to give as a gift for Andrew's mom. All right, you guys, we are at the cutest little restaurant ever called Soda Al Ranchito. If you don't know, a soda here is um, basically like a quaint little home-cooked eatery super casual but they don't serve any alcohol and it's usually like comfort meals that are served 
Um, and this place is like tucked in and hidden right next to a famous restaurant called Salsa Bravo. And it's right on the beach. Like the waves are literally right next to me. And there's Caribbean music playing. Everybody's enjoying their food. Everybody's enjoying the sounds of the waves and the moonlight and the beautiful weather right now. The menu here is also super simple. It just has a few basics or just a few meals that are classic here so we're gonna try them out there's one dish in particular that i'm looking forward to the most and it's called rondon and i heard about this from uh our tour guide from airbnb and it's basically called the rundown soup but because it's jamaican um it's called rondon and it's a traditional stew that's basically made out of um, a base of coconut milk and then it's stewed with fish, vegetables, basically whatever they can run down or forage. So whatever's left over, like meat and vegetables, they put it in there and make a very hearty stew that Jamaicans uh, enjoy and then all the Latin American countries that they share the coast with also love. So that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Oh, wow, it's so good. It's a little spicy. It's um, kind of it's like a chowder. You're gonna really like it. It reminds me of like, it's like a clam chowder consistency. But it has like potatoes, like all these other vegetables in it. And it's like a coconut base. It's so good. With the perfect amount of spice. And this is gonna go so well with it. Some patacones and the stew.
chocolate tour and it was so amazing. We learned so much, something new that we've never learned before. And the takeaway from that is everyone eat more chocolate. So good for you. There's so many health benefits, mood benefits. Um, it's just like a very, very nutritious food. It's good for anti-inflammatory, it has a bunch of antioxidants, it's good for your mood, it's an aphrodisiac, it's just all around an amazing food. But we are leaving Puerto Viejo now, going to drive all the way back to San Jose. I can't even express in words how much I loved this town and what was funny is that we didn't even purposely try to explore this part of Costa Rica. We only found out about it because I picked an Airbnb that I liked. Um, we picked a couple of like Airbnb experiences to tour and that was it. And little did I know I would love this place so much. I've never been to the other side of Costa Rica, but I can already tell I much prefer the Caribbean side. So much more diversity, so much more laid back. It's a really, really fun vibe. Everyone is extremely, extremely friendly. I think it's like that Caribbean um, love and that Caribbean spirit. And there's so much biodiversity. The ocean is like you just walk anywhere and you're super close to the water and you just feel so free and I love it. So if you are ever thinking of coming to Costa Rica, I highly recommend coming to the Caribbean side. You'll enjoy it so much and the food was so, so delicious. Everything was local, it was fresh, um, and it was made with a lot of love, which is always the best ingredient in any dish, in my opinion. So we're gonna go back now, and maybe in the future, I'll come here and live for a little bit. Who knows? I gotta get out of my nine to five job first, but okay, bye.